Hey guys, what's up? It is Tony Chief One here, back with the LG Remark uh, review. Now, um, before I get into the review of the phone, the features it has, I'll be doing the features on the phone. I mean, um, first, first starting off with the back of the phone, which has the uh, door to open up um, to reveal the back of the battery, or where the battery goes. I mean, um, so let's put that back in has your 1.3 megapixel camera on the back along with the speaker which has a cool little leaf design for the eco-friendly um, kinda look to it I guess the Sprint logo and the LG logo right here and on the right side it has the USB port on the top and the dedicated camera button on the bottom now on the left side it has the 2.5 millimeter headset jack I was disappointed that it did not come with a 3.5 millimeter since most phones, you know, come with that. And most, and obviously, a lot of headphones um, <clears throat> are only 3.5 millimeter. Millimeter, I mean. So you'll need an adapter for that. But I have a Zoom for music, so I really, really need this for music. Um, and the volume rocker, and then the micro SD um, port, which it does convert. Sorry, convert does support up to 16 gigabytes in space of a memory card. On the front it has your two little keys um, I guess for you know navigating your speaker button and your talk key. And on the right your normal end key and there's also the power button and the back key. And here's the d-pad. Uh, it's just regular pressing. It's not like touch sensitive or anything like that. It's just regular pressing and the menu and OK button. Now opening the phone it reveals that the full QWERTY keyboard um, I have tested out texting um, like a few minutes ago I wasn't texting one but I was like you know playing with the keyboard and I have to say I'm already used to it like it was that fast it's really good for a texter um, I, as you can see it's just like a phone for you know texting it's not a smartphone anything like that it's just a good one for calling and texting and the keyboard feels great I mean the buttons are they're not slippery they're not sticky they're obviously rubbery but they kinda look like the um, LG Lotus style keyboard and um, <clears throat> I haven't had any problems with them like they they don't stick to your fingers you know give you a hard time very uh... feels really good pressing down on them spacebar isn't that big so yeah it's really nice has your dedicated uh, emoticon button here symbol and text button if you want to go make a new text and uh, you know your normal buttons to call people so getting into the phone it has the uh, LG Remark uh, animated screensaver which it shows you know oops, sorry shows the sun you know scrolling by plants growing all that stuff obviously for eco uh, friendly nature and the, sprint, and the main menu just shows your uh, time and date in the front <clears throat> will show you the favorites and the contacts favorites I guess you're gonna add favorites um, add some photos my stuff which is like screensavers and games that you can download and buy off from the Sprint website so uh, I guess you can add I guess you can call them widgets or add-ons for faster uh, use in your context now I don't have any contacts or I haven't texted anyone obviously because I haven't activated the phone yet um, which I'll be doing in a few minutes now it does not come with the one sprint one click sorry <laughs> one uh... sprint I can't even pronounce it uh... you know if you guys you know recognize the one click interface from sprint there we go um... that a lot of phones you know, like regular texting phones like the uh... what hell what has it the, the um... LG Lotus has it the uh, Samsung Rant, and I think the LG Rumor. I'm not sure about that, but this has your normal, you know, menus for a lot of stuff. Like you know, regular cell phones have this kind of menu, which you have webs, contact, music, messaging, photos. You know, going to your stuff, and it has uh, my family locator. Um, I I'm really confused on if this phone has GPS or not because I've read reviews. They said it has GPS, and then some says that they don't. I mean, this phone doesn't, so I'm assuming it has GPS because, you know, I think you're going to have to need GPS to, you know, search for people or use Family Locator because that does use GPS. So, anyways. So, uh, getting the texting, I'll show you a quick text on how texting is on this phone. I'll just add a random number. 
So obviously use two thumbs and I'll just type in L O L I like this phone. And uh, I didn't make a mistake or anything, so feels great in the hand, feels great typing, you know, so I like it. And I guess any teenager who loves texting like twenty four seven will love this keyboard. Um yeah, so I'll test out the camera since it only has 1.3 megapixels. You won't get anything great, but let's just test it out. And the other, the second flaw I found on this phone is I really didn't like how they placed the camera on the back of the phone. I would rather have it, you know, like right up here. So when you close it, it'll be protected, and you know, when we flip it up, it'll be right there. Because most people, when they take photos with their phones, they have like their fingers wrapped around the back to hold on to it and your finger might get in the way most of the time and like you know smudge your camera so uh... i would rather like you know they should have made it up here but i can't change that but alright so let's take a regular picture it does have your uh... it does have zoom feature and other options like changing the resolution uh... the white balance the fun tones and the i mean the fun frames and the color tones you know you can mess around with the photo so uh, here it is um... Under light, it looks really nice. So it's probably only going to look good outside or outdoors when you're taking pictures. Inside, it's probably going to look crappy since you know you don't have any light. But a lot of cameras do that. So camera is alright for a 1.3 megapixel um, camera. So that's basically about it for this phone. Nothing really that much to uh, get into. Uh, I will be activating this soon, and I can't wait to use this, and, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this LG Remark review, um, please subscribe, and, um, right, this thing's annoying me, hold on, alright, <laughs> um, so, you know, always subscribe, it really helps me out, and, uh, leave a comment down below, like this video, ask me any questions about this phone, you know, all that stuff, and, uh, I'll see you guys later.